Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to add water in Roblox Studio. So adding water in Roblox Studio is pretty easy. I'll be showing you how to do it real quickly. So first thing, let's open up Roblox Studio. Now in here, we want to create a flat terrain. So you could use your own project for this one. So in here, first thing that we want to do is basically set up our uh, water. So first thing is we have to add our water first. So there's actually two ways on how you could actually add your water. So first thing is via the tool here, editor. You could just go to edit here and you want to click on the section that says fill. Now in fill, you'll be able to add your water. So as you can see, there's this section here. So it's a uh, rect rectangular, so you could just draw here. And in here, you have the materials. So in the blue or bottom section here, or the blue section here, that's actually water. So when you click on that and you hit on apply, you will be able to notice that now, there's now water here on this specific section. So if you want to increase this one, like for example, make it a little bigger, you can hold the circular green, green here section. So I'm not sure it is this a uh, center bit here. So you just basically drag it here at the top. So you'll be able to extend it further or make it a lot higher and just click on apply. It's going to apply that. So as you can see, we've now added water. But what if we have like something in, in here, like for example, a terrain. So we want to go to draw here and we want to add grass. So let's just add our uh, section here. So like, let's make it circular. And we want to add something here that we could actually climb into. So now here, we now have to add water. So again, in material, you want to go to water again. And from here, you will be able to add your water. So now, let's just draw some water here. So let's just draw here, starting here and even here. So even the center. And once you've drawn it completely, you've just successfully just added your water here. It's actually pretty easy. You just need to select the correct things here. So make sure you fill this up properly if you have to. So let's just uh, turn it back a bit. So we want to actually, so you can actually revert this back to if it's a lot. If it's uh, too big, you could actually revert that. Make sure that you fill all of those holes here and here. So yeah, so those those are the two ways on how you can add water. So this is the basic one. This is just a square. And here it's the dynamic one where you could actually use the draw one. So you could either use fill or draw for this one. But especially if you're building your world here, like for example, specific areas where there's a pond, use draw here. And you'll be able to use the material section that is for water. Now let's just go ahead and play this one real quickly. So... In here, we should be able to interact with our water here. So as you can see, this is the water here. So it's kind of quite far from my area. So let's just quickly walk into it. So as you can see, we could freely interact with this one. So it's actually kind of beautiful inside. So as you can see, you have that ripple effect without water. And yeah. Now let's go to this staring here. So... It's actually pretty cool. It looks cool when I started using this one. So let's just go ahead and this one. As you can see, the edges actually matches with the terrain. So it's really cool actually. So now when we go ahead and go to this section, as you can see, it's working like water. And yeah, and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.